welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to show you a mind blowing multiplication trick this trick if you know then you can do any of these multiplications in your head trust me you will be able to do all of it mentally within seconds not even not even 5 seconds you will take to solve these kind of questions okay so i will show you what i am doing over here so 12 into 18 your answer becomes 216 34 into 36 becomes 1224 now i am sure you must be thinking that i have you know already solved it and you know somewhere i have written the answers and that is how that is how i am solving these kind of questions but trust me the trick is simple okay so what happens for these tricks is that there are two things which you need to follow always the unit digit always the sum of the unit digit should add up to 10 okay and the tens digit has to be the same so over here you have 34 and 36 so 4 is at the units place and 6 is also at the units place of the second number so 4 plus 6 gives you 10 Okay, and three and three. The tens digit has to be same. So we have three and three. If you look, I have picked only those uh, multiplications where this particular criteria has been met. Okay, so once this criteria has been met, then what you should be doing is that it's very simple. You multiply the tens digit with the number next to it. So basically, three. what what comes after 3 is 4 so you will multiply 3 into 4 and 3 into 4 gets you what 12 so that forms the first part of your answer for the second part all you have to do is just multiply the last two digits that is 4 into 6 so 4 into 6 gets you 24 and that forms the second part of your answer okay similarly over here what comes after 1 is 2 so 1 into 2 gets you 2 that is the first part of your answer and next is what you multiply 2 and 8 2 and 8 2 into 8 gets you 16 so 16 is the last part of your answer okay i will explain uh, towards the end of the video i'll explain that uh, how is this working i'll explain the theory behind it but first let's start solving these kind of questions okay students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and the like hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay so the this one so first part would be what 6 into 7 that gets you 42 and the second part would be what 2 into 8 gets you 16 So your answer is four thousand two hundred and sixteen. Now let's do this orally. So four forty one into forty nine. So what you do is you multiply four and five gets you two zero, and one into nine gets you what nine. Now here I have purposely taken this particular example because people will write nine directly, but the answer is not two hundred and nine. your units answer or the second answer should always be in two digit okay so your answer will be 2009 okay so next one over here 5 into next digit is 6 so 5 into 6 gets you 30 and 3 into 7 gets you 21 over here we have 3 into next digit is what oh, sorry 2 into next digit is what 3 so 6 and 3 into 7 gets you 21 now um 95 into 95 so 9 9 next digit gets multiplied is what 10 so 90 and 5 into 5 gets you 25 similarly 10 104 into 106 we have so 10 will get multiplied to the number which is coming after 10 that is 11 so 10 into 11 gets you 110 and 4 into 6 gets you 24 correct so now over here students don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy question whose answer you can mention in the comment section i will definitely tell you whether you are right or wrong okay the question will be on this same concept only okay so 88 into 82 that will get you 8 into 9 gets you 72 8 into 2 gets you 16 okay so now 
coming to the part see lot of students like to know the trick and they are fine with it okay but there are a lot of other students who want to understand how is this trick working and why it doesn't work in other scenarios so for those i am going to explain uh using the help of algebra so let's take a into b and b sorry a into c this is what we have where we are making sure that b plus c is equals to 10 correct so now what we'll do this we'll we'll break this so this is nothing but 10 a plus b and this is 10 a plus c correct now let's open the brackets so we have 100 a square plus 10 into a into c so 10 a c plus b into 10 a so that is going to be 10 a b plus b into c that is b c okay so now here we have 100 a square plus let's take 10 common so we have a sorry we can take even a common right so we have c plus b plus b c now we know that b plus c is what 10 so we can write this as 100 a square plus 10 a into 10 plus b c right so we have 100 a square plus 100 a plus b c right now what can be taken common from here is 100 a right so we'll have a plus 1 plus b c okay so i hope you have now understanding the concept of multiplying the first digit with the number coming next to it that is what a and the number which will come after a will be what a plus 1 correct and then when you add this b c to it you get your final answer If you want, we can use one of this method. Eighty-eight into eighty-two, correct? So what is your A is eight. So we have hundred uh, into eight into eight plus one is nine plus we have B C. So again, B is also eight over here. So eight into two, eight into two, right? So we have hundred into seventy-two plus. 16 so this is 7200 plus 16 so your final answer is 7216 so i hope you have understood how this entire trick is working okay so now coming to your diy i want you to tell me what is the answer of um let me pick a question okay 37 into 33 do let me know your answers in the comment section that's it for now i will see you in the next video